It was spectacular and scary enough as it was. This drone video from a viewer captures the intensity of the tall arborvita type trees torched up with high flying fireworks going off all around. It was frightening. And then we were afraid of the, the house and uh, the other things. Art Ronnie was up late last night after the trees on his property caught fire. People lighting fireworks nearby told Ronnie what was happening. Firefighters got it under control and out. In Vancouver, a city fireworks ban kept things more quiet. The fire marshal says they've been busy enforcing the ban and have issued 101 citations. Some residents say it's paying off. It was probably the quietest year we've ever had. But still fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> We did find one mortar launching tube in the middle of a Vancouver street. Is that all you saw was the one mortar? That's it. I don't see any other garbage on our streets like it was in the past, so yeah. I'd say success. Meanwhile, back in Hazeldale, Art Ronnie's trees don't look like they'll be coming back to life, apparently thanks to fireworks. I don't like what's uh, uh, doing in the residential areas, but it's July uh, 4th and people celebrate it, and I guess you got to just deal with it. I didn't expect this to happen, though. Yeah, he didn't expect to have to call his insurance agent. You see that fire also burned up the utility pole and knocked out power. See, that's a brand new pole. They managed to get that all fixed up and good to go last night. So that's a one shining light out of this. At least Art got his power back. Chris, back to you. Well, that could have been a lot worse. All right, Tim, thank you for that.